Oh, I'm good at puzzles. Don't um, show them the screen. I'm not, okay. It's a surprise. I'm not. Ah! I can't get the scale to work. I went to therapist. <gasps> good, you did! This word here in skunks. So Aspen is hunting for the letter S today. Big S and little s. Did you find it? Good job. Let's see. Oh, I see another one in this line. I see two in this line. This line has two S's. I think I already did though. I see. Oh, you have got this one, but there's one more. Did you see it? Yes, in shoot. Let's see. You got them all. Good job. <laughs> Ireland's hanging out waiting to do her school playing. Slime. You love slime. Yes. Your school is done, except you need to draw a big S and a little S for me. I can. You're going to do it on your paper today? Big S, now little S. This one's backwards. Can you put it the other way? It needs to go the same way this one's going. The same as your big S. Nice work on the S, oh, Aspen. Yeah. Good job. Bye. So Ireland is getting to play the game that Zane and T have both done. This is her first time playing it. No. I think it's called, this is my oh, second. you've played this one? Yeah, this one's called Shark Numbers, and all the kids like this one. You have to, you want to get dolphins, not have the shark bite your boat. So they're counting tens and ones and clicking on the correct bubble. Okay, so Skylar came in to try to help Ireland with her math. She's playing that Tanagrams game and could not figure out this puzzle. I'll, I'll try it. You'll try it? Okay. Okay. Just wait till Sky's done. Oh, Skylar! Solved it. That game has taken you just have weeks to, give me a to figure second. out. I'm good at puzzles. <laughs> so Zane is getting to play a game as well today. He is looking for criminals by keying in decimals and following clues. I'm so good at the game. Watch. You keep catching them. Only searched one. See. Nice. Ooh, you had to go again. Dispatcher's calling him. Are you cuddling with Reddington? Yeah. You love your puppy? Today's the day Zane gets to print out his book and work Don't on... Don't show them the screen. I'm not, okay. It's a surprise. I'm not, and work on your edits, right? You're going to start working on your edits tomorrow and then revising. So you started writing this book less than two months ago and you're already to the point where we're going to be close to... You're going to submit it for a contest, aren't you? A short story contest. So that's pretty exciting. This book will be done by the 12th, you guys. Okay, so T is getting to do a chemistry lab today. And we needed a couple of things for our chemistry lab. So she has her measurement lab sheet. This is where she's going to record all her findings. Pencil. She needed a large book, so I just took one from the kids' homeschool collection. A bathroom scale, because she has to be able to weigh up to 20 pounds. You need a scale that weighs between 1 and 20 pounds. A measuring tape two different sized cups, a full gallon, either milk gallon or she needed a two liter bottle, and then a measuring cup. And she's going to have to measure first in milliliters. So I pulled out her gra graduated cylinder. I'd have her pour right in here, but it's really thin. So she's just gonna pour whatever amount into the measuring cup and then put it into here to do her measurements first. So we're gonna be measuring se several things, weight and volume and length. You ready? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure the length of the table. Okay. So I'll hold it on one end if you want. And then you can take it. So I say, should we just go? Well, we kind of have our stuff in the way. We need to move it so you can get a Why is that water hot? Uh, because I started out with hot water and didn't think about it. All right, so to get a correct measurement, you want to make sure it's pretty straight. So I'm going to go to here 
and does it look pretty straight? All right, so you are measuring length of the table in centimeters. So you're gonna have to break it down into centimeters. So how many feet, how many inches do you have? Ooh, we got a storm track seven. All right, go all the way to the end of the table. Make sure you're at the end of the table. And then how many, how many feet do you have? 17. 17? No, five. You have five feet? Okay. Yeah, so this thing that says 5F. Yep, so five. Oh, so measure in inches. So the inches are gonna be those other numbers where it says like, Six. right here it says 37, 38, uh, 39. 70. 70, okay, so you're gonna put that, ready? You're gonna put 70 inches right here and then we're gonna convert into centimeters, meters, and kilometers. So just go ahead and put 70 inches. Let's get all of our measurements. Okay, and you can, you can abbreviate inches with just IN. Okay, then we need to get the width of the room. So this time we're not going length, we're going width. So let's go from the window over because the board won't be in the way. So you just hold it right here. And then I'll take it over. And let's measure the room in feet. So I need to keep holding it, keep holding it. So the room is about 14, don't let go, about 14.5 feet. Sorry, <laughs> trying to get it with it. Okay, so put 14.5 feet. Then we're gonna do the length of the room. So across. Mm -hmm. so we'll just go door frame to wall, and you're gonna have to kind of hold it like that. Okay, and then I'll come to you with the thing. So go ahead and go all the way over. Don't Ow. go to the, your, yeah, okay, so. Door frame to door frame? Yeah, we can go door frame to door frame. Feet? Yep, you're doing feet. 12. If I stretched it to the wall, it would have been 13. Feet. Okay, so let's just round it to 13 feet. Now, normally you wouldn't round a measurement, but we're working on conversion. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it at 13 feet. But it was literally like not even an inch from being 13. Feet. Right, so the next thing we're working on is volume. So I'll help you pour these in here. And then, and it really doesn't matter how much. So you're gonna pour one into here. and then you're gonna pour it into this. Oh, we almost filled it. So, how many milliliters did you get? 250. 250? Okay, so record, record that under first cup. You're gonna measure the next one. And then go ahead and record that. Well, I just put that on here, right? 250 on here. And okay. then while I dump this. You wanna this grab one, a rag? Yeah. Then pour the rest in and we'll add the two together. 130 exactly. Okay, so write down the 130. And then add those two together and put it under the second cup reading. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna weigh each of your items. And what's it say? Is it not heavy enough? It might not be heavy enough for it to get it. So we need a heavier pound. book. We need a heavier book. Let's see. Um, let's try this book. Try this. Oh, your book. Mm -hmm. Zero. What if we stack them on top of each other? Okay. And just count it as one book. Okay. That one down. Still not enough? No, it has to be enough. What are we doing wrong? No, I think it's the scale. Hold on a minute. It's not very heavy. Maybe we need to put it on the floor. <coughs> okay, let's try a book. Nope. Okay, not heavy enough, so maybe we need to do two together. <laughs> it's being so stubborn. Not sure we have a thick enough book, Mom. I might have to get a couple more books. 
It doesn't weigh enough. These don't even weigh a pound. How do these not weigh a pound? All right, let me try me. I'm gonna weigh you instead of a book. I'm gonna weigh me. Oh, and then we can weigh the book with it in my hands. Is our scale broke? I think so. No, okay, there's my weight. Okay, so I think the batteries might be getting low. So I'm gonna hold the book and get back on the scale. So it's not enough. Ah, I can't get the scale to work. All right, let's try it with this. So there's 16 ounces in a pound. Okay, so these weigh 1.6 pounds together. They're just so let's just up. round it to a pound. So that's what it is. It just, they didn't weigh enough to register. So just put one pound for a book. And then the next thing you're gonna weigh? Oh, one? No. I put one point six. Yeah, you can just put one this time. Okay. Next thing is your milk reading. Okay, if that says it doesn't weigh really anything, there's crap. No, it's not weighing it. So we'll just do the same thing again. So seven pounds for a gallon of milk. So now we get to work on the conversions. Okay. Hey guys. Hey. Oh, what? Oops, I'll get it, no biggie. What I'm doing guys, I went to therapy. Speech therapy. Speech therapy. Okay. And I got this um thing I them. put candy on. Yep. We have this. And uh, if you get it right, you're gonna eat it. And we still can do it again. Can we do it last You want to show him? He's very excited to show you what he's doing. Okay, so our next word is, what do you think this I don't want to do that one. Which one do you want to do? Pick a picture. And. Okay. This was and, sand. So we're going to do sad. Sad. <gasps> very good. Very good. Okay, this one, this one's a tough one. No. This one is suit bag. Mom? What is it? Suit bag. Suit bag? Uh, close. I like how. You... Say that again. Suit bag. Okay. You said suit bag. But suit bag. Right. Very good. But this is actually. Hold on. This is. Are you ready? This has two S sounds. So this one's tricky. This one is suit case. Suit case. Okay. Hold on. Slow down. Not yet. Uh, uh, put it back. You don't get it yet. Ready? We're going to break this one apart in three ways. Ready? S oot. Oot. K ace. Ace. Okay. So what you said was, look, you said s oot case. <laughs> okay. What you want. Case. Case. And you know what? Since that one was super hard, I'm gonna give you a double M&M for that because that was a very super. Can we hard do it one. again? 